Okay. So I've been asked to um, give a demonstration of my tissue chalking technique on Dollar Tree foam board. Um, I've used it on my uh, my Scout model here, and it's a fairly simple technique. Um, this is actually the first material I've tried it on, um, but all you need is um, a set of artist pastels. Uh, these are soft pastels. I believe hard pastels work a little bit better. The dust is a little bit finer um, and less likely to get all over the place. Um, it's it's a fairly simple method. You take whatever color you're going to use. I suggest you know cutting a couple scrap pieces of foam board and uh, experimenting to see just what coloration you want. Um, but basically, you just take a piece of pastel, a piece of paper, this is 150 grit, I believe. Um, you take your colors and you just sand a little bit of pastel dust onto the paper. And then grab either tissue or um, toilet paper, or in this case I like to use uh, paper towels. They're a little bit more durable, um, less likely to get torn up on the uh, surface of the paper. Um, but you just take a little bit of the, uh, the coloration dust there and just simply rub it into the material. And by varying the amounts on your sandpaper, um, you can vary the coloration. And obviously the harder you press, the more color you're going to get. If you do really, really lightly, you can get a lighter wash of color. Um, but I generally just rub it all, all in. And if you want it lighter, you can come back with a clean section of towel and take a little bit more of the pigment off, like so. Um, in the case of my Scout, I added some rib lines. I just took some of my brown here um, and a corner of the paper towel, folded up, nice thickness, um, like so, and just got a little brown on the edge of the paper towel and simply hand drew a line. And then I took another clean section and just lightened it up a little bit so it didn't look too out of place on the rest of the model. And that's a wing rib. Um, I also have this here as a piece of the more expensive foam core, Elmer's foam core. Um, I got it from Walmart for about $1.70, I think. Um, but I have not tested it before with this technique, so let's see how it does. Much as I suspected, um, the the smoother surface of the foam core, the Elmer's foam core, doesn't really take the material as well as the Dollar Tree foam core. Um, but you can still get a slight coloration with it, it looks like. Um, nothing particularly heavy, but it does still work slightly. Um, let's see. And then the last step is simply to take some uh, Krylon Satin Clear. Um, I like the satin. Um, I'm sorry, this here is the flat clear, but the satin and the flat, they both dry um, within 10 minutes, they say on the can here. Um, and I find that to be a very accurate statement. They, they basically dry within seconds of spraying. Um, so it's just a very light dusting and you're good to go. The foam core doesn't warp um, from the material that I've noticed, um, and it, it's water resistant. I ran a piece under the faucet and it beat it up somewhat. It, it um, tended to sheet off just a little bit, and there were some, there was some water that did stick. So I think if you were building a seaplane or something like that, it would not be the ideal treatment, um, but 
simply for flying around if you want to keep the dew off, keep it from getting into the surface of your foam core, warping things, delaminating, etc. Um, I believe that this would be uh, the ideal um, covering. And it doesn't add much weight. I had one sample um, that I, uh, one of my test samples this size here, I weighed it. It was on the edge between three and four grams. My scale only reads single digits, which is un unfortunate. Um, but it was on the edge between three and four grams untreated. And then I did a sample with two colors on both sides and then sealed with the Krylon on both sides and it was just tipping the scale to five grams. So it added about a gram in weight um, for something this size. So it's uh, a relatively low weight covering and uh, a very quick way to color your aircraft. Um, the one exception is on the Scout here. I decided to color it after it was built, which may have been a mistake. Um, anywhere there was hot glue, for example, uh, the, the coloring, the pastel dust did not want to stick. Either cut the pieces and then apply the, the coloring, or um, apply the coloring and then cut your pieces, depending on the uh, complication of your paint scheme. Um, but that is my technique that I have just tried <laughs> for about the third time um, for coloring Dollar Tree foam board with chalk. Um, same technique they would use on uh, the tissue models that they used to build. Uh, I suppose still build. But. All right. Thank you for watching, and uh, I hope this helps you in your model building.